turn down the boosie a little bit. Um, welcome to today's practice. It is one of my favorite all-time practices. It is called the teacups. And it's a practice that comes from Qigong, which is a originally a Chinese healing art. Um, and you can read more about that on Google if you search for QI space space G-O-N-G. Um, and it was developed as a way to heal the body by rebalancing the body's own elements, its own alchemy inside. So all the different energy lines, acupuncture lines, um, the different elemental parts of our body that keep us hopefully stabilized and in balance. This practice called Qigong is movement practices to help us do that. And um, it's still very present today. There are many lineages of Qigong. And uh, if you translate it to English, it translates uh, to qi, which means energy, and gong or kung, my Chinese is terrible. Uh, by terrible, I mean non-existent. Uh, but kung means work. So qi, energy, kung, work. So it is literally how do we work with our energy. And uh, it's a practice that I found almost 10 years ago. And uh, it's something that I've infused into all of my work. Um, the principle of the practice is that our breath and our movement go together. And if you've taken a yoga class or a Pilates class or other types of fitness classes or martial arts or, or sports training, people talk a lot about this. How does our breath infuse our movement and how does our movement support, regenerate our breath? When those two things go together, our movement feels good. It feels easy. It feels like this music sounds. Um, so today's practice called the teacups, we're first gonna start out learning a very basic practice that gets our breath and our movement flowing together. And then we're gonna break it down into actually how do we do this practice. Um, I'm gonna give you a set um, structure and form that you can play with. If you're feeling really confident, you can actually use real tea, which I have here, I made a fresh batch. And then at the end, we'll take that into a little free form play um, dance as I will always try to trick people into doing. Just how do we take that, that practice of breath and movement together, add a specific form to it that you can learn so you gain a skill, and then we take that skill and we play with it in a way that feels good for our body. So, here we go, let's get going. Uh, we come to our feet. So it looks like this. We're gonna inhale side to side, exhale. Bring them back together. Go up and down, inhale, and exhale. Again, it doesn't matter which hand's in front, which hand's above, just go with what feels good. Front and back, inhale, exhale, and then start again. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, again. So that's our principle. How can our breath and our movement go together? And just that, just what we did there for those few minutes, that is a beautiful practice in itself. Yeah, I use these in all of my workshops. I use this in my own training every day. So now we're gonna take that idea of our breath and our movement together and that flow, and we're gonna put it into a specific form. So it's called teacups. And I'll challenge myself, and I'll actually put a little tea in here spill. So it goes like this. If you have real tea, put the tea in your hand. If you don't, use your beautiful imagination. Catch that teacup in your hand and don't spill it, which means we don't want to ever turn our hand over. So our hand is here. We're just going to work with one hand for now. And we're gently going to start to make a nice big circle. 
fingers are going across my body, opening up, and coming back. I'll do it one time facing the back. You can see, so that's it. Open, come in. If I'm facing the back, it looks like this. Bring my hands across, open, or just one hand again. Reaching, last one. simple. How can we start to bring that fluidity, that constant motion into our body? Now, trick question. Were you breathing when you did that move? Maybe yes, maybe no. It's all good. We're going to go again. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. Okay. So, we're going to bring our hand. We're going to inhale. Exhale as we come around. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Notice the movement never stops because your breath never stops. We never hold our breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. If you ever did scuba diving, it's the first rule they teach you. Never hold your breath. I would say the same thing about any sort of movement practice, dance practice, athletic pursuit, martial arts training. Never hold your breath. Because when you hold the breath, you tighten. And tension leads to injury. So, now we're going to take this magic hand with either the real or the magic teacup. And we're going to start to bring it up in a little spiral and come back down. Bring it up. And bring it back down. Doesn't have to be fast, be nice and fluid. I want to make sure we don't spill that tea. If I'm facing the other side, it looks like this. Bring it up and back down. Bring it up, back down. One more, up and back down. You ask the same trick question. Were we holding our breath or was our breath part of it? Let's try it again. This time, inhale. And exhale on the way back down. Go up the spiral staircase. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. I assume good because I'm not actually watching you do it, but... If it feels good to you, then you're doing it right. Take a little sip. We're going to add the last part to this little sequence. And this last part is, is tricky. It's fun. It goes to the back. I challenge myself with the real T. Comes around. Comes up. And in. Kind of combining that second practice with this added part of going to the back. Come around. Notice my whole body has to adjust all the way down to my foot. That's mobility. That's real mobility. It's real balance. It's active. It's present. It's playful. It's not a static stretch. It's not a picture. It's motion. Yeah? One more time. And then I'll do it through the back. Back. Fingers come around. The rest of my body helps my hand. I keep smiling, I don't hold my breath, and I come all the way back. Now, I'm facing the same as you. Bring the fingers to the back. Come around. Up. And back down. Again, fingers to the back. Around. One more time. work. That was a lot of mobility that we just connected from the feet all the way to the top of the head, including our eyes. You deserve a little sip. And take a moment to feel the differences between your two hands. Even though we integrated the whole body, I'm sure one hand is a little more present. Yeah, the proprioceptors, meaning it's awareness of the space is a little more active. So let's take it to the other side. But now that we know this one, 
we can go with a little more fluidity. So catch a magic teacup. There we are. And we come immediately connecting the breath and the movement together. We have inhale, exhale. Don't worry if you did left, left or right, right or left. Just the other one. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. A couple more. Inhale and exhale. Make sure not to spill that tea. Inhale, exhale. Now same idea, let's bring that spiral up. Inhale, exhale. Notice it's very smooth, it's not trying to go fast. Inhale, exhale. My knees are soft, my hips are soft. Inhale, exhale. It's also a movement that looks good. I think it's nice when things that are feel good also, they have their style. Style is important, the teacup style. Two more. Come, inhale, keep the breath. A little dramatic moment in the music. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now, let's go. One more, the sequence to the back. I'll do it in the front three times and in the back three times. Fingers come back, around. Don't hold the breath. Gonna really need the breath as you do this more dynamic movement. One more time, bring it to the back. Ah, make sure you sigh, making sure we don't hold the breath. Again, to the back, come around, back, up and through, back, around, up and through. Last time. Okay, that's the form on each side, and now we're going to put them together and do the sequence, the choreography, all as one system. Let's see what time is. Good, we're doing well. Gotta add a little more tea to my cup. Keep the challenge real. So remember, the philosophy on this is how do we connect our breath and our movement as one infinite unit. The practice of this is learning this, this form called teacups, which comes from qigong, which means energy work. And at the end, our dessert for today is just how you saw me start. How can I take these teacups into a little play? So before we get there, we're going to combine it all together. I'm going to do it two times facing you, two times not facing you. So I'm going to start with my right hand. You can mirror me with your left hand, or you can do it also with your right hand. Notice I have both hands present. Imagine a teacup in one. I have a real teacup in the other. And I'm going to go inhale, exhale. Now I'm going to take it to the back immediately. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I come back home. Whole thing again, reaching out. Inhale, we're just combining it all. Exhale, my fingers come to the back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. And make sure you don't spill the teacup on the other side. They're equally valuable. One more time, inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm gonna do that one time to the back and then we'll switch sides. Inhale, reach out, exhale. Go to the back, inhale, exhale. Use the whole body, come around. I'll do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and let's go to the other side. 
So my point about both hands, that they're equally valuable, is even the one that's not moving, that is just as important. Anytime we want to create mo uh, mobility and we create change, we need to hold it constant. Again, come back to math, just like you have a variable and a constant. If you really want to stretch that variable, if you want to find change in your movement, then we need something that's anchored, something grounded. If they both don't, see? The T just fills if there's no constant, but once I have one thing that's rooted, like holding a rubber band with one finger, you can stretch it in any direction really far. So same idea. Both hands are equally important, not just the one that has your hot, delicious tea. So, other side. Ilya, stop talking. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Take it to the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back home. Pass go. Click $200. And inhale. Exhale. To the back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I hope you're doing the breathing, I'm just not saying it. <laughs> inhale, one more, and I'll do it to the back. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I'll do it with you two times this way. And reach, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, one more time, uh, inhale, oh my bad, <laughs> inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and throw the magic teacup in the air, if you got two of them, throw both in the air, they'll hang up there for a second. Salud. So now we're ready for our very last part. This is your dessert. You've earned this. I'm going to put on one song, and we're going to use the length of that song, this beautiful Debussy music. And we're going to open up that practice, that form that we just created. We're going to open that up. Just find whatever flow your body wants to start doing. And if you had to distill Tai Chi down to one exercise, it would be something as basic as this. How can I allow my breath and my movement to inform each other without ever holding, pushing, forcing? Here we go, one song. challenge myself and use real tea. So don't watch me for this minute. Play for your own curiosity. As my teacher once said, get drunk in your own movement.
shake out the hands. If you're sitting down, you can stay there, standing up, just a little ritual closing. Um, so we worked on mobility and flow, but we worked on it from a place of imagination, playfulness, musicality, softness. Um, to me, it's about how do we get smarter by getting more in touch with our spirit and our soul and what it means to be vital, what it means to be soft and strong at the same time, what it means to use this breath that is our life in order to inform our movement. So, bring our feet here together, bring our thumbs here together into our heart, take a nice deep inhale one more time, and a nice deep exhale. Give yourself a little gratitude for making the time and effort to do this today. Please comment, share your experiences. Other people probably have something similar. They'd be interested in what you experienced. Subscribe to this channel and share this link with someone. It is really important. I want this work to go far and wide because we need it in our world today. So do me that favor, do me that honor. Um, share it, subscribe, check out the other videos. This one was called Teacups. There are other ones equally fun and awesome. Get a clap on three, three, two, one.